Hello friends, my name is Vivek Sharma. Today we can cover uh, this problem that's called the reconstruct itinerary. So we have been given the pair of tickets, airline tickets, and they have been given like departure and air, air arrival airports, right? With the three digit thing. So we need to reconstruct this itinerary. And uh, what we are going to do it here, let's try to understand using whiteboard here. So let's do this. <clears throat> so let's see uh, we are having this pair of uh, um, departure and uh, arrival airports right so let's see like uh, MEC to and we have been past the JFK so let's say we start from JFK and JFK will go to MUC and we need to find MUC here so MUC is here then we need to go to LHR and LHR basically we need to go to SFO and then SFO we need to go to SJC so the output will be JFK MUC and from MUC it's going to LHR and from LHR it's going to SFO and then from SFO it's going to SJC right so this should be the output right so what we are going to here uh, if we see we are just going pair by pair just starting from any airport uh, let's say start from JFK here in our output and then we are just traversing each and every node so we can use uh, recursion or depth first search here uh, to visit each and every node and uh, even before that we need to connect these nodes right so we need to connect jfk to muc sfo to sjc lhr to sfo and muc to lhr once we connect all these nodes then probably we can start our recursive function we can pass this jfk and then probably jfk we will go to get muc then muc we will again pass to our next pair that's here and then probably that's how we need to build this algorithm right so uh, first of all we can just take the map implementation part if we are clear that how what the problem is basically we can directly jump to the implementation part and here is the another uh, thing that they are asking they are asking like uh, if there are multiple valid itineraries you should return the itinerary that has the smallest lexical uh, order so basically if jfk and lga they both are there so j comes before l so we need to consider jfk before lga right so if we want to consider this lexical graphical order lexical order as well right so in that case uh, we need to either sort those airports right and for the sorting in java we can use the built-in priority queue methods but if you are using some other language then probably we can use uh, different mechanisms we can just uh, sort via some available apis as per the language but um, for sorting we can use priority queue right so let's try to create some of the placeholders and then probably we can go from there <clears throat> first of all let's create some map that will have a key value pair let's say a string and uh, and uh, val value we can have like uh, multiple uh, we can build multiple uh, this uh, list kind of things right because and we need to sort that as the alphabetical order as well so we can just take the priority queue right so priority queue and then that will also hold the string and let's say this is the flights map okay and then let's say the new has map right so now we already have the map now what we need to do we need to connect these tickets as we discussed here jfk to muc and every pair we need to connect right so how we are going to connect it uh we can just iterate this these tickets right so let's say this is ticket and then let's say this is tickets and uh, let's say this flights map dot put right so ticket we want to connect zero with ticket one or in fact uh, value is priority queue so what, what we can do we can just do new priority queue right it's having string and then flights map dot get we can just get this ticket zero so ticket zero is nothing but this is the first element in our pair every first element so uh, when we say ticket zero means it's jfk in this section 
and it's SFO in this section and it's LHR in this circle and this is MUC so every first pair every first element in every pair right so that's the ticket 0 and then we want to add what we want to add we want to add ticket 1 so every every basically we are connecting every ticket right and uh, so you might be wondering that why I take the priority queue but not the string we can take the string as well but uh, the priority queue or list is uh, uh, basically it's useful whenever we are having this kind of scenario in the second example so in the second example um, this uh, uh, let's say for example this ATL right so ATL is having the source of uh, ATL we can get to the JFK as well and from ATL we can go to the SFO as well right so in this uh, scenario if we are having more than uh, one source uh, uh, departure airport right then in that case we need the list so that we can just basically we can just add the destination in our list right so that's why we are just taking this list and we are taking the priority queue so that we can sort in the alphabetical order as itself okay very good so now uh, we just connected we just made it uh, we just connected all these our tickets and here the another thing we need to consider we are using the put right but uh, we want to use a put if f sent and the reason of uh, using put if f sent is uh, because <coughs> we don't want to override the ticket so for example my ticket atl is connected to jfk right and the next ticket is again atl and then i don't want to connect to i want to add that to the sfo so this basically uh what 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 does that mean atl if it is already the jfk is already there i don't want to overwrite that right but i what i want to do i just want to build that list itself so that's the reason i and if i don't use a put if absent then basically it will just overwrite uh the existing ticket uh with the newer one so i don't want to overwrite the value so anyways let's uh, quickly create our output list that's uh, let's say result new array list and then let's call this method let's say we are having this visit method right and this visit method the requirement is we need to pass one airport that's called jfk and then let's say this visit and let's say we are having this airport name jfk so what we are going to do let's first of all we already have value as a priority queue right so we will just uh, get this priority queue from our map so let's say this is flights map or let's say map to avoid the confusion and we are having this map and then this is string priority queue and this is map right so map dot cat then this airport right so once we will pass this airport in the get method we will get the whole priority queue list right once we get this list what we can do we can just uh, call this method recursively <coughs> and recursively we will just uh, uh, we will just check our priority queue it is not empty right so if it is not null or not empty right it is not equal to null definitely it will not be null because we are uh, yeah it can be null because if there is nothing then if so pq is not equal to null and pq is not empty so for example if we did not put anything here then it can be null as well right for example if we don't have any itinerary if tickets is null or something then it can be null so it, it's not equal to null or not empty right and then just call this method recursively so in our priority queue we are having the destination so for example we pass the jfk and corresponding jfk value we just put in the priority queue itself right so if you go back to the diagram so jfk let's say this is the jfk right and jfk value is in the priority queue that is muc so we are just polling this muc right so pq dot poll and then we are passing this we are just calling this method recursively again so it will pass the value and then we will be passing muc here in the recursive method so this muc will go to the here 
in the first uh, pair MUC and then it will find the LHR so in the priority queue we are having the LHR we will pull this and we will pass this in recursively to this pair so LHR will be passed here and then it will get SFO so it will just keep doing the same thing right so that's what we are doing here and then this is the map and uh, what else and airport right so airport we are passing uh, pole and this map and definitely uh, we need to typecast this as a string because otherwise default by default it will be object and now we need to build our list as well right so what we can do we can take this as a parameter right output list right so result and then and uh, this uh, airport right so whatever airport we are getting that we can pass it here right so first will be jfk and then again whatever we are popping out from the priority queue that will be calling it recursively here and that we are uh, passing it here in the list right so what's going to here what's going to happen it here every time uh, let me use some eraser so let's say, uh, yeah, let's let me use some eraser, right? So so let's say all these uh, airports are there, right? And uh, in our priority queue, so MUC is there, right? That's what uh, we are calling it recursively. MU. Uh, hold on. right so this is q this is not a stack right so muc and then from muc it's going to the lhr right muc lhr and from lhr it's going to sfo and from sfo it's going to sjc and from sjc it's going to yeah SAC is the next right uh, I mean that's the last right so uh, that's how it's going JFK also right so JFK is the key and the value is MUC and then from MUC uh, it's going to the LHR LHR to SFO so uh, basically we will be passing the key to our map here if we see here we are just passing this uh, to our map so MUC is the value that we get from the map similarly LHR will be the new key to our map and then SFO will be uh, in our uh, priority queue so as MUC and then SFO and then SFO will be key again and then SJC will be value so all these three items will be in the uh, queue itself so what's going to happen they will be after recursive fall they will be getting basically uh, from the queue right and from the queue basically they are going to add in the reverse order because of the recursion right so if i if uh, if i try to come run this code let's see okay so visit method i need to fill this visit method itself jfk this is airport this is flights map and this is res Okay, so cannot be converted to map string priority queue. So priority queue, I need to pass it generic. There are some, these are just some syntactical errors that I'm trying to correct it here. Cannot be applied to given types. So a string. pq dot pole and then here the res itself let's try to run it again okay so this is the thing that i wanted to uh, explain so if we see the order is uh, s sgc sfo lhr muc jfk right so it's it's adding it from the reverse order and the reason it's doing because of the recursion and it and, and because of the queue so it's going to this and then it we are just polling basically uh, uh, from the priority key and when we are polling we are just polling from the starting right and the polling from the starting and then it's uh, uh, polling back and then due to recursion it's uh, 
getting added in the list from the reverse order right because of queue priority queue and because of recursion so what we need to add what we need to do in that case whenever we are adding it our in our list so sgc and then probably we need to again just get this sfo first and before sfo we need to uh, we need to add lhr and then before lhr we need to get muc and jfk uh, consecutively right so whenever we are uh, getting back from the recursion and from the priority queue what we need to do probably <coughs> we need to get it at the starting in the list so that's what we need to do so every time zero comma airport so let's try to run this and let's see how it's going okay so it's working fine let me try go ahead and try to submit this one okay so it's working fine and when we talk about the time complexity it should be order of v plus e so where v is basically the vertices so in this case vertices will be your our these tickets right so tickets we are considering as a vertices and edges basically we are just connecting those edges uh, uh, manually in the map right and then space complexity will be the number of vertices so vertices is again the number of tickets whatever the tickets we are using or uh, basically we can say that these are the airports so we are using it's kind of the graph like we are just connecting these nodes and we are just visiting recursively and we are just trying to build our list hopefully this video was useful thanks a lot bye